Buenas noches. Sarita. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Sarita. We missed you yesterday. What happened to you? I fine. Uh, yesterday, um, me sentí enferma. Estaba bien mal ayer. Ah. And what about today? What about the rain? Oh, heavy rain. Oh, I sí. see. Uh, today, uh, sí, ha estado lloviendo ahora bastante, bastante. Sí. De hecho, aquí en mi colonia, aparte de la colonia, no hay luz. Es verdad. Uh -huh. Ok. Es que yo vivo aquí, calle a los planes de rendero. Hay a los planes de rendero. <ríe> Vivimos cerca. <ríe> Divera, a ver si vivimos en el mismo lugar. No, yo vivo aquí en San Jacinto. Ah, pues yo vivo aquí en Navío San Juan. Ah, ya sé dónde. <ríe> ya Entonces, sé. Ajá. Ah, pues sí, somos casi del mismo a la misma sí. zona. Sí. Hello, Margarita. <ríe> Hello, teacher. Hello, Rachel. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hello. Good. And you? I'm fine. Uh, what about you with the rain? Um, no. <laughs> Have you yes. had any problem with the rain? Yes. Uh, before the class, uh, a few minutes. It was an apagón. <laughs> ah, it was a shutdown. Yes. <laughs> a shutdown, okay. Shut down. Okay. But yeah, I was worried about the same. I was uh, I was crossing my fingers and praying God and saying, wow, I I, I want to, to be <laughs> with internet and with uh, power to, uh, to meet the kids. I don't want to lose my class. But unfortunately, uh, the rain is over and we are here. Okay, we have to move uh, quickie, uh, quicker uh, today because uh, as you know, tomorrow on Thursday is finishing course. So I want you to um, finish all the homework, of the, all the pending homework and also the evaluations. So everything has to be, I have to upload the videos for Zoom. I'm, I'm delayed for that and I'm so sorry because I, I had a little bit problems with connection and I don't want to split the, the video just because I don't have a time, enough time to, to display the complete, um, the complete video. No se me están subiendo completos, así que volver a subir porque se va, la, se va la internet, o sea, no se va la luz, solo se corta el internet y me queda en el aire y volver a subir y he estado intentando un montón subir y de repente se corta, así que este clima está horrible. Bueno, ok, let's share the screen, let me see here, where is the content here? Lunch meetings. Okay, we, we we said yesterday we will be reviewing um, the present perfect today, and that we will be um, having some uh, examples about it. Let me turn off the WhatsApp. It's a noise. Okay, let's share the, I will share the screen right now. Screen, share screen, share screen. Okay, let me know when you can see it, please. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Let me see. We are. Uh, we will be reading the lesson objective. 
that is in this lesson participants will learn when to use present perfect versus simple past en esta clase aprenderemos a saber cuándo usamos el presente perfecto versus el pasado simple había estado compartiendo los verbos verdad vamos a ver aquí vamos a leer acá un poquito para que pueda avanzar a ver si estamos bien aquí Uy. y esto de dónde salió la lista de reproducción ahí está entonces vamos a poner a que no se mire esa ah, it is loading I don't know if it's loading Okay, I will stop the video here. Uh, this is grammar focus. I know grammar is difficult for a lot of you, but try to uh, improve. It is, it is not that hard. Uh, present perfect versus simple past. Use the present perfect for indefinite time in the past. Use the simple past for a specific event in the past. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. I ate I ate it once in Paris. No, I haven't. I ever I've never eaten it. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. No, I haven't. I've never had it. Vaya, el presente sim, el presente perfecto es una cosa que no tiene un tiempo de fin, eh, tiene un tiempo indefinido en el pasado, no se puede definir. Y el, pres, y el pasado es que nosotros sabemos que es algo que ya terminó, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, a, le pregunta la persona ayer en el diálogo, estábamos viendo, le pregunta, ¿has una vez comido comida marroquí? Y le dice, la pregunta en positivo es sí, yo he, prácticamente esa es la traducción literal, sí, yo he, pero le podemos agregar comido, yo he comido, yo la comí una vez en París. O sea, el primero es el present perfect, así le ha contestado, pero agregó una, una, pues una observación más en la cual le dice, yo comí, y le dice exactamente, le especifica. ¿Qué exactamente comió? Entonces venimos y le dice en la otra, eh, le pregunta, otra pregunta, ¿verdad? Le dice que si ha, eh, o en la pregunta negativa, ¿verdad? Cuando le contesta que no, que no ha comido, le dice no, no he comido. Yo nunca la he comido. O sea, está, está completamente asegurando lo que ha hecho. Entonces, ahora, este, en la pregunta de abajo le dice, ¿Has alguna vez tenido eh, curry verde? No sabía que existía curry verde, <ríe> aquí solo hay amarillo. Entonces, ¿Have you had eaten curry? curry? Eh, ¿Have you had, verdad? Acordémonos que dijimos ayer que uno es auxiliar y el otro es verbo. En este caso, have es el auxiliar. Y el had, que es el verbo en presente participio, ese es el verbo principal. Entonces tienen que buscar exactamente ahí cómo es que están las cosas para eh, saber cuál es exactamente el verbo principal y no el secundario. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. Es la respuesta positiva. I tried it several years ago. Sí, he tenido. Eh, yo lo he probado varios años atrás, o sea que ya tiene tiempo haciéndolo. Y la otra le dice, no, I haven't. Entonces, no, I haven't es, no, no lo he comido, no lo he probado, ¿verdad? Nunca lo he probado, le asegura, ¿verdad? Yo jamás lo he probado. Solamente está este, asegurando, ¿verdad? Que no lo ha comido nunca. Entonces, aquí... Este, vamos a, a, a memorizar, ¿verdad? Tienen que ser eh, preguntas, eh, perdón, respuestas corre, eh, completas. No le vamos a decir, eh, 
como a veces decimos aquí, ¿verdad? Que le preguntan, mira, ¿y fuiste ayer al colegio? No. O sea, solo no, ¿verdad? No, no les completan el, 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 la, la respuesta, sino que ¿fuiste ayer al colegio? No, no fui ayer. Así, pueden responder así, pero en inglés casi siempre tiene que ser complete answers. Entonces, este, le, le dice, va, entonces vamos a, a, hoy sí vamos a ver el, el video. Ahí este, estamos oyendo la, la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Hay que enfatizar cuando le preguntan a las personas exactamente, ¿verdad? No, no lo he comido. Así como que, eh, como así como, no, nada más, ¿verdad? Así como bien parco. Tiene que ser algo que realmente la gente eh, enfatice, ¿verdad? Y esto no hace caso ahora. Dios mío, quiero ver, flechita. No me hace caso. Le estoy dando clic y no me hace caso. Quiero ver. Qué raro. Si no, ya se me arruinó el mouse. Ahí está. Bye, aquí vamos, o oh, creo que ese es el que hicimos ayer, ¿verdad? O es sync. Bye. Vamos a ver. Este es un knowledge check. Eh, vamos a preguntar otra vez, ¿lo quieren hacer solitos o lo quieren hacer este, con, juntos ahorita, todos? Together. Together, together, teacher. Together again. <ríe> Vaya, pero yo no voy, a, no voy a hacer nada. El uno, hay alguien que lo va a leer y el otro va a hacer la respuesta. Así que vamos a empezar. ¿Quién va a, hacer, quién va a leer el número uno? Me. me. Okay. ok, Cecilia. First. Number A. Number A. What? <laughs> It's letter uh, A. Ah, <laughs> uh, letter. Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. Space, you ever space in a karaoke bar? Answer, come on. Number three. Number three. Had you ever sung in a karaoke bar? Um, Number yeah. three. Okay, but okay. Yeah. What is... I, I want you to emphasize for the ones that are reading the questions, the verb sing. So you have to make the, the thing that sing and you memorize sing, sang, sung. Sing, sang, sung is different. Sing is in present, sang is in past and sung, sung, like kind of you, is a past participle. So that's why if you see the verb sing, You have to find the past participle and then you will see immediately the answer is number three. That is the, the correct way to solve. So yeah, it's correct, number three. Thank you, Cecilia. And the other, let me see, number two, who wants to be number two? No? Number two, letter B. Yes, I spay. I spay one on my birthday. Mm -hmm. Answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have some. Number three, option. 
three. Okay. Option three. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. I have. I, I sang have. one on my birthday. Yeah, that is correct. That is correct. Okay, let's move forward. Number three, who wants to be number three? No? Me teacher. Okay. Me teacher. Okay, Sarita, go ahead. Have you ever lo lost some type value? Something. Something value. Val Valuable. Val Valuable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have, to, have you ever lost something uh -huh. val valuable? Valuable. Valuable. Uh huh. It's remember it's value, and you just add apple. Valuable. Okay. Yeah. That is. That is. You gave us the answer also. Have you ever uh, lost something valuable? Has alguna vez perdido algo valioso? Eso es lo que significa. Okay. Number four. Who wants to participate? No one? First one, first one is clear, it's no I haven't. That is clear, but the other one, the clue is the Person, Lost. my brother, my brother. Us. And what we use with my brother? Lost his camera Lost. on a trip once. Mm -hmm. Remember, this is a lot dialogue. And number three is. Has perdido una alguna vez algo valioso. Entonces le contesto a la, la cuatro. No, no lo he perdido. Pero mi hermano perdió una vez su cámara en un viaje una vez. O sea, es algo que ya pasó, que está completado, que sabemos que es verdad y que así sucedió. Entonces es completamente pasado. Okay, number five, who wants to participate? Or let me choose you someone didocratically. <laughs> let me see. Mm. Let me see. I see someone is here. Aha, uh -huh, Oscar, I saw you. <laughs> Do you want to participate? Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Oscar. Can you can okay. you make number uh, five? Um have you ever um have you ever which which is the bear? Oh, Oscar is, is gone. It's not connected anymore. So, oh, oh yeah. And yeah. Get your, uh -huh. um, and the past participle of get is. Got, okay. Uh, have, have you uh, get uh, so yeah. Uh, um, what is the past participle of get? Got, got, Gotten. Gotten. Someone is telling you it's gotten. 
Goreng. So the Goreng. complete and Go the complete sentence is Goreng. Okay. Goreng. Have you ever gotten a traffic ticket? That is the answer. Okay, thank you. Okay, number six. Who wants to participate? Hey, let's see someone that is not participating all the time. Uh, Ronald. Okay. Number six. Uh, yes. Yes, I have. I have once I got a ticket and had to pay fifty dollar. Okay, perfect. Yes, I have. Once I got a ticket and had to pay fifty dollars. Okay, number seven. Let me see. Uh, Consuelo, can you please help? Um, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Let seven, vea, letter A. Eh, eh, sería el C, el S. Sería, have you ever? Mm -hmm. Uh, have you ever seen a live concert? Live concert. Ah, a live concert. Uh huh. Yeah. Perfect. That is that is the answer, Consuelo. Congrats. Okay, okay. Betty's just arrived. So you're number eight. Hello, Betty. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Oh, good evening. Okay, can you please uh, do me a favor? Uh, can you please make number eight? Yes, I have seen, seen. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. Uh huh. And then it's a period. And then the following sentence. Spam. Yes, yes you... I have. And then I seen mm -hmm. you to uh, the stadium last year. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, that is the answer. Now let's see number nine. Margarita, can you please help us? Okay. Oh. Um, have you ever been late for an important appointment? Important. Important? Important. Important. Mm -hmm. So did you okay. say in a letter uh, the first option or the or the third? First. Okay, yeah, that is the answer. Perfect. Okay, and the last one. Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jose Luis. No, I haven't. By my sister was. 30 minutes late for her wedding. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that, is, that is true. No, I haven't, but that is a typo there. But my sister was 30 minutes late for her wedding. Como le viene preguntando en la nueve, ¿verdad? Have you ever late for an important appointment? Has estado tarde para una cita importante? Entonces él le dice, no, no lo he hecho, no he estado. Pero mi hermana llegó, eh, ye, ye, mi hermana fue o estuvo, mi hermana estuvo 30 minutos tarde por su boda, para su boda. Ok. Teacher, pero ahí es bad, o, o sea, porque no, 
Está mal escrito entonces. Yeah, I, I told you, it's a typo. It's a typo. But. It's typo ah, okay. y es un error de dedo. Entonces es but. Ajá, porque by es. No, ah. no tiene sentido. It's making ah. nonsense. So it's but. But my sister uh, was 30 minutes late for her wedding. Ok. Let's continue. Oh, again, it's not reacting. Ok. Let me see. In this lesson, they use for, of, for, and since will be explained throughout an audio, not the expressions. En esta clase, el uso de por y desde serán explicadas a través de un audio. Ponga atención a las expresiones para cada palabra. Aquí les voy a dar un tip diferente. Por, mucha gente dice eh, aquí for, eh, eh, for you. En vez de decir to, se confunde, se confunde el for y el to. Entonces vamos a ver exactamente cuándo se ocupa for y otra cosa es to. Una, for es por y to es para. Es bien distinto. No se ocupa así en inglés, pero sí, creo que es diferente. Now we will listen to the audio, but first we will review the lesson. Let's see. Let's put the zoom. Oh my gosh, this mouse is not working for me. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's review it uh, slowly here. Let me see. It's not letting me, gosh. Okay, for and since. I couldn't stop here. Oh my God. Crazy. trying to stop and it's not letting me to do it. Let me see if it's the mouse. Battery maybe is about to die. Since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child. 
I think it's the mouse because it's not, I put a new battery and it's not responding. So the mouse is, it's gone. It is, it's moving. I don't know what is, what is happening here. Oh my God. It's not. It's not responding. Okay. Let me see the other one. It's the video that is not responding. Because I'm using another mouse and now it's not. No me hace caso el mouse para nada. Ok, bueno, yo lo quería revisar uno por uno, pero los mouse no me dejan, así que vamos a ver si hay otra, otra forma de revisarlo, porque ya lo puse dos veces y no, casi tres, no me hace caso, no entiendo por qué no me hace caso, está raro. Se supone que ya hizo caso aquí, pero no entiendo por qué. Creo que ya volvió, no sé por qué. No me saca de aquí, ni me hace caso aquí. No me saca de la pantalla. Oh, sí, sí, ya me saca. Quiero ver para arriba, para abajo. me da donde salir de aquí stop sharing tal vez aquí quiero ver screen share voy a venir a ver aquí que está haciendo esto está raro no me saca el youtube lo voy a poner otra vez aquí se volvió loco el video Ok, simple present, simple best, uh -huh. present perfect, uh -huh. no I have it, siguiente, always check, uh -huh. ya lo hicimos, uh, for instance, uh -huh. aquí está, se supone que aquí está, vaya hoy sí ve. Vaya, for and since. For and since, uh, they are, vaya, uno es eh, por y el otro es desde. Entonces, how long did you live in Thailand? Eh, ¿Cuánto ha vivido en Tailandia? How long es que tan largo, ¿verdad? O qué tanto tiempo, pero se reduce a eh, cuánto viviste en Tailandia. Y le pregunta, I lived, pregunto con el verbo live, ¿verdad? Entonces le dijo, live, I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. Yo viví ahí por dos años. Fue maravilloso. Entonces le pregunta, how long have you lived in Miami? 
¿cuánto has vivido en Miami? En Miami? Y le dice, I've lived, ahí es present for es, eh, perfect, ¿verdad? Here for six months. I love it here. Yo he vivido aquí por seis meses. Acuérdense, algo que empezó en el pasado y que sigue en el presente. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. I've lived, es, he vivido aquí desde el año pasado. Yo estoy realmente feliz de estar aquí. Vamos a ver esta forma, ¿verdad? Let's talk about for and since. For más periodo de tiempo. For six years. For a week. For a month. Four hours. For two hours. I have worked here for five years. O sea, for six years es por seis años. For a week, por una semana. For a month, por un mes. Four hours, por horas. For two hours, por dos horas. I have worked here for five years. Yo he trabajado aquí por cinco años. Ahora el present perfect with four. She has lived here for 20 years. Ella ha vivido aquí por 20 años. We have taught at this school for a long time. Hemos enseñado en esta escuela por mucho tiempo, ¿verdad? Por un tiempo muy largo. Alice has been married for three months. Alice ha esta, Alice ha estado casada por tres meses. They have been at the hotel for a week. Ellos han estado en el hotel por una semana. Ese es el uso de for. Ahora vamos a buscar aquí, a de haber más. Ya no lo cambió. No lo cambió. Ahí está. Since, más un momento específico. Específico, es exactamente. Since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child. Since Wednesday, since two o'clock, I have worked here since 1990. Desde esta mañana, desde la semana pasada, desde ayer, desde que era un niño, desde el miércoles, desde las dos de la tarde, yo he trabajado aquí desde 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. Ella ha vivido aquí desde 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Hemos enseñado en esta escuela desde 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. Alice ha vivido, ha estado casada desde marzo, desde 2 de marzo. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Tuesday. Ellos han estado en el hotel desde el eh, martes pasado. Entonces es un tiempo en específico. Ahí está, ¿verdad? Since, since. El since va un poquito hacia el complemento, ¿verdad? Antes del complemento se pone el since un poquito hacia el final, ¿verdad? Ahora quiero ver qué sigue aquí. Ok. Now let's check. I know you will be responding. We want to do it together. Okay. <laughs> Instructions. Read the following sentences and choose between for and since depending on context. Instrucciones. Lea las siguientes oraciones y escoja entre for, por y since, desde. Dependiendo del contexto de la oración, we will make the same with the last a dynamic we have. Someone is reading the question and the other is answering. To be uh, equal, to be equal, we will. The one that is making the question is the is the the following that will be giving the next answer. Do you understand? Si alguien escoge leer la primera pregunta, en la pregunta dos, el el, con el que está haciendo las preguntas le va a contestar la pregunta para que no solo lea, ¿verdad? Sino que también eh, responda. So, which one will be the first two? Teacher, no se ve la pantalla. No les creo que no se ve. 
Bueno, yo no la estoy viendo. I'm not sharing. Let me see. No. no o sea, el texto. Solo a usted. Solo a mí. <laughs> not nice. <laughs> I'm sorry. Se descompartió. Vaya, aquí está. Gracias. Hoy sí. Hoy sí tiene que estar bien. Ok, sí. Va. Entonces, sí. aquí vamos a hacer la primera. I will be making the same, the participation, and then you will do the answer. First, Pam was in Central America space a month last year. Which one would be the answer? Let's see the options for and since. Pam was in Central America for a month last year. It's for. Exactly. Estuvo por un mes en Centroamérica, Pamela, ¿verdad? No estuvo desde un mes el año pasado, dice. Entonces, este, no tiene sentido. Entonces, es for a month. Ok, perfect. Number two. Who wants to read? I being a college student space almost four years. Mm -hmm. And the answer is four. No. It seems four. Okay. four. O sea, traduciendo, yo he estado, yo he sido estudiante de la universidad. Por más de Desde años. casi cuatro años. Mm, no, pero es four. Y yo sí es four. Ah, I told you. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. That I was, I was, I wasn't sure if you were saying the truth. Hmm. Okay, yeah. He estado en el, la universidad, de estudiante en la universidad por casi cuatro años. Cuatro años. Ajá, no es de, de casi, es por casi cuatro años. Ok, we have two, four. Number three. Hiroshi has been at work. Science. 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 Um, since, why, science. No, science es ciencia. Es since. 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 Uh -huh. since. Ok, number four. I haven't gone to a party for, for, a, for long a long time. time. Exactly. Okay. Number five. Josh lived in Venezuela for two for years. Two years as a for kid. Two a kid. years as a for kid. Josh a vivió kid. en Venezuela por dos años de niño. Number six, my parents have been on vacation since, since Monday. Since Monday. Monday. Mis papás est han estado de vacaciones desde el lunes. Number seven, Natalie was engaged to Danny for, for six months. For six months. Oh. Are, you, are you are you are you sure? Yes, teacher. Or, a ver, tradúzcame las que quieren decir. <laughs> Natalie estuvo comprometida con Dani por seis meses. Eso, eso. <laughs> okay. No. Y lo dejó. Ajá. She said bye. <laughs> okay. Uh, Shakira was married with Piqué. Y lo dejó. Y lo dejó. <laughs> okay. Number eight. Pat and Valeria have been best friends since, since mm. high school. Amiguitas, besties, besties se Bestie. llaman en besties, besties, las mejores amiguitas. Pat y Valeria 
han sido las mejores amigas desde la escuela. Okay, number nine. We have been in class since. 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 Right. Okay, since 8 p.m. Right. So PM. <laughs> yeah. Okay, number 10, lastly. The babies have cried. For, for, oh, 30 minutes. Oh, for 30, 30 minutes. minutes. What a nightmare. <laughs> What a nightmare. 30 minutes crying. Pobre niña. Ay, pobre la mamá. <laughs> pobre los vecinos también. <laughs> okay, that is the answer. Copy. We have, uh, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, four, and four scenes. That is the final result of the knowledge. Okay, let me see, let's move. I think it was not the battery, the platform now is working perfectly. Okay. In this session, we will work on pronunciation. In order to sound natural by linking final T and D, D. sounds so. in verbs with the vowels that follow. Who knows what is vowels? Vocales. Eso. En esta clase trabajaremos en la pronunciación uniendo los verbos que terminan con sonido de ch and d. Así como estamos como cuando somos niños, ¿verdad? Que nos enseñan el rrr, s, ch, d. ¿Se acuerdan? Cuando van al colegio, al kinder. Eso es de kinder, ¿verdad? Eso es de kinder. Cuando nos enseñaban los sonidos de cómo tenía que sonar en nuestra mente las palabras, porque antes de eso nosotros hablábamos bien raro, ¿verdad? En la casa. Hablábamos así como que las palabras todas cambiadas, nuestros sonidos no sonaban bien. Por ejemplo, yo tenía una sobrinita que me decía el popóptero, <ríe> por decir el helicóptero, ¿verdad? O me decían la patanía, la patanía, y lloraba por la patanía, en la calcomanía. <ríe> Entonces, aquí es, es para sonar más fluidos y naturales cuando se habla. Vamos a ver qué nos trae esto. Linked sounds. Esto es la aglutinación que yo les había dicho al principio, cuando están unidas y tienen que sonar más fuerte. Vamos a ver el video. Ojalá hoy nos haga caso. Again, but without this girl. Pronunciation linked. That is one of the the sounds linked. Hay veces hay una red que se llama LinkedIn. Si digo LinkedIn, nadie me entiende. Pero si yo digo LinkedIn, todo mundo me entiende. LinkedIn. Pero no es linked. Es linked. Como que termina en T. La ED se convierte en T. Porque antes viene la K. Entonces, linked. Así se pronuncia. Ahora, el letter A. Lesson and practice. Final T and D. Sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. O sea, si al final tenemos una T y una D como sonido en los verbos C. Eh, unen a las vocales que los siguen. Ejemplo, a uh, have you cooked? Cooked. Como que después de la K fuera T. Have you cooked? No cooked. Have you cooked? No. Have you cooked? Lunch yet? Res eh, la otra A, ¿verdad? Have you ever tried Cuban food? Letter B. 
Ah, no, espérenme. La primera A se corresponde con la primera B. Ok. Yes, I've already cooked it. Cooked it. O sea, ahí va una T, ¿verdad? Unida con la, con la vocal. Cooked it. Never, eh, la otra. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Respuesta, yes. I tried it. Tried it. O sea, terminan de tried it. Once in Miami. Aquí se, se pudiera decir que funciona como R. La D se convierte en R. Tried it. Así funciona. Entonces aquí vamos a ver, vamos a recorrer un poquito el video. Ya no me hizo caso. Ahí. Example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. Cut it. La T se convierte en R. No, I haven't cut it. Questions. Have you ever tasted taste goat cheese? ¿Has probado el queso de cabra? Have you ever tried Korean food? Have you brought your dictionary today? Have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? La gente aquí dice Harry Potter, ¿verdad? Pero aquí es Harry Potter. Es la diferencia. Por ejemplo, poster, poster. Ese es el inglés. Ya lo está diciendo como una palabra inglesa, pero le está leyendo como latino. Poster. En cambio dice poster. Esa es la diferencia. Hoy sí vamos a pasar la cuchilla. Vamos a, uno por uno, me van a leer este párrafo. Quiero oír pronunciación, de verdad, para ver que, que estén pronunciando bien. Vamos a ver. Let me see. Vamos a ir por orden de lista aquí. Primero. A ver. Erika. Ok. Sería de lo blanco, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Have you ever cut your hair? Cut. Cut. Uh -huh. Have you ever cut your hair? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Continúa. Yes, completely, uh -huh. until the yellow color. Okay, yes, I cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Cut it. Okay, cut it. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't cut it. Mm -hmm. Questions. Okay, question. Have you ever? Uh, okay, let me let me let me see. Have you? No, have you? Have you? Uh, um, mm -hmm. Have you? Have you? Ever taste? Mm -hmm. uh, Perfect. I, I no sé cómo se pronuncia goat. 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 Uh, goat cheese. Entonces sería, have you ever uh, tried, tried, no, oh. tried Korean food? Ahí se me fue la palabra esa. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Tra, tra, tried. Tried. D. Ajá. Uh -huh. Tried. Tried Korean food. Uh -huh. Have you brought your dictionary today? Your. With E. Ah, your. Ajá. Uh -huh. Your. Uh -huh. your. Uh -huh. your dictionary today. Have you read the the latest? The latest. Hey, uh -huh, the uh -huh, the latest. Mm -hmm. The latest Harry Potter book yet. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Thank you. Okay, Margarita, you're next. No vino. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, you're Have there. Have you ever thought? Your hair? Mm -hmm. Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Mm -hmm. Have you have you ever taped? 
goat cheese? Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried Korean food? Mm -hmm. Have you brought your dictionary today? Mm -hmm. Have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? Latest. Latest, okay. It's like I'm late, so you're changing the last T for R. Latest. Latest. Con la R normal de acá. Latest. L I E. L A. Latest. Latest. Con T al final. Sí, así como sí, se pronuncia tal cual es L E I R E S T. E S T. Latest. Ajá, así okay. es. Ajá, ah, perfecto. Ajá, así. Okay. okay. Erika. Your next. Sí, teacher. <laughs> Ajá. <laughs> el, el, el texto, please. Can you please read? Otra vez. No, you were. No. So the first one. Yeah, I saw yes, you. Yes, were... number. Ah, sí, es que cambió one. la cámara. Ok, ok, ok. Rachel. Yes, teacher. Ok, can you please read? Yes. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I will cut it. No, mm -hmm. I haven't cut it. Mm -hmm. Have you ever tasted goat cheese? Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried Korean food? Mm -hmm. Have you brought your dictionary today? Mm -hmm. Have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? Yes, solo el cut, el cut un poquito. Espero, nada más. Ese. Ok, Oscar, you're back. Ok. Uh -huh. um, how you ever cut your ever. hair? Ever. Your hair? Uh -huh. Yes, I cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Uh -huh. Questions. Have you ever um, tasted, tasted goat cheese? Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried it? Try it oh. Korean food? Korean food. Have you brought your dictionary today? Mm -hmm. Have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? Okay, thank you, Oscar. Now we continue with Sarita. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, following the example, have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Question, have you ever taste got cheese? Have you, ever, tasted. Tasted. Have you ever tasted good cheese? Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried Korean food? Mm -hmm. Have you brought your... Brought. Have you ever brought your dictionary today? Mm -hmm. Have you read the taste of Harry Potter budget? The latest. Have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? Okay, this is read is a past participle. Read is present and read is past participle. Is have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? Is past participle. So it sounds like an E, not as a E. Have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? Have you read the have you read the later Harry Potter book chat? The latest. The latest. No, latest. 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 Mm -hmm, a kind of okay. Mm -hmm. It's latest. Latest. Later Harry Potter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Like so, so, 
So, so. Okay, then I have to. Light it. Light it. Okay. Okay, maybe. Uh, let me see. Who's who's next? Is Oscar, Erica, uh, 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 Raquel, Rachel? Yes, teacher. Can you please read? I read. You're ready, read. Okay, Ronald. Yes. <laughs> Ronald. Okay, teacher. Okay, continue, please. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I cut it. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't cut it. Mm -hmm. Question. Have you ever tasted goat cheese? Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried Korean food? Korean food? Mm -hmm. Have you brought your dictionary today? Mm -hmm. Have you read the latest Harry Potter budget? Okay, that is okay. Thank you, Ronald. Okay. Consuelo. Okay, follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Your hair. Your hair. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've cut it. I've cut it. Yes, I've cut it. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't cut it. Mm -hmm. Question, have you, have you ever tasted? Taste. Taste, have you ever tasted? Go cheese? Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried Korean food? Mm -hmm. Have you brought your dictionary today? Mm -hmm. Have you read the latest Harry Potter, Harry Potter book yet? Perfect, Consuelo. It's really nice pronunciation. Thank you. Jose Luis. Follow the example. Mm -hmm. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't cut it. Mm -hmm. Questions. Have you ever tasted goat cheese? Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried Korean food? Have mm -hmm. you brought your dictionary today? Have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? Have you? Read the latest Harry Potter. No. Have you? Read. Mm -mm. That is read. not read. It's read because it's read. past participle. Have you Have read? Have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? Okay. Okay. That is okay. Okay. Thank you. Now let's see. Oscar Armando. Hola, hola, buenas noches. Good evening. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, Extend. Have you ever cut your hair? Hot. Yes. Ah, cut. <laughs> Have you ever cut your hair? Mm -hmm. Yes, I cut it. No, I haven't cut it. That's have you ever tasted goat cheese? Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried Korean food? Mm -hmm. Have you read your dictionary today? Mm -hmm. Have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? Have you? Have you read mm -hmm. <laughs> the latest Harry Potter book yet? Okay, okay, okay. perfect. Thanks. Then Daisy? Daisy. Hello, Miss. Hello, Daisy. Can you please read? Okay. Yes. Have you ever cut your hair? Mm -hmm. Yes, 
I cut it. I cut it. Yes, I cut it. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't cut it. Mm -hmm. How do you ever taste good cheese? Mm -hmm. How do you ever try Korean food? Mm -hmm. How you brought your dictionary today? Mm -hmm. Have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? Okay, that is okay. Okay, Ibania. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, have cut it. I have cut no, it. I cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Questions. Have you ever tasted cold cheese? Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried Korean food? Mm -hmm. Have you brought your dictionary today? Have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? Have you Re read mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. latest Harry Potter book? Okay, okay. And um, Betty, finally. Okay. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Mm -hmm. Yes, I cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Mm -hmm. Questions. Have you ever tested got cheese? Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried it Korean food? Mm -hmm. Have you brown? your dictionary today have you read the latest harry potter book yet okay perfect so we are in a very good level of pronunciation just a few words that you are not uh, pronouncing so try to uh, practice and we will see uh, we will put emphasis in um, past participle, simple past, and simple present. So you can uh, difference in between the, the different uh, tenses, and you will see how they are pronounced. So I want to see if you have any questions or if you want to solve another thing, no? Latest, <laughs> yes, yes, latest. Uh, but for being is latest. Yeah, that is latest. <laughs> latest. So, uh, and cut it is cut it. Cut it. Cut it. That is the sound of cut it. Well, let me see. The other one is uh, linked. Linked. See, linked, linked, or cooked. Cooked. That is the, the, the pronunciation and the sound of the mouth. So if you don't have any questions, kids, is any question or everything is clear? Everything? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Nine oh six. Nine oh six. Not. No, we will see. Uh, we will see us each other again tomorrow. We will have another class tomorrow, eight p.m. Remember, tomorrow is Thursday. Please, please, please complete your uh, quizzes and also your uh, homework because tomorrow we are closing the platform, but we will have another class on Friday. But eh, in, in, idealmente tenemos que tener todo listo para mañana. Todo, todo, todo. Yeah, my cat is there. Yeah, no, it's the other side. He's there, you see? <laughs> She's the baby. It's Sayuri. Sayuri Priscila. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she wants to be famous. <laughs> Quiere sus cinco minutos de fama. <laughs> okay, kids. Oh, Daisy. Daisy is having an opinion. Okay, continue, Daisy. Raise yeah. the hand. Happy Teacher's Day. 
Oh, I think you forgot it. And I was, I won't remember that. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. I celebrated already, I had pizza. You love pizza? Yes, I love it. It's my favorite, but it is price mark pizza. Oh my God, it's delicious. They are big slices and I love it. <laughs> okay, kids, I won't uh, be with you anymore. Sé que a las nueve ya es tardecito, quieren dormir o quieren descansar. Con la lluvia ha quedado fresquecito, gracias a Dios. Así que nos vemos mañana. Porfa, cualquier duda, cosa que no entiendan, díganme, díganme. Así, creo que funciona bastante que les ponga aquí en el chat que cómo se oye en español, ¿verdad? Para que oigan cómo se oye y ya lo, lo pronuncien. No es exactamente el mejor método. Lo importante es que ustedes lo leyeran en, en, en inglés y lo sepan pronunciar en inglés para que no estén haciendo esto. Pero bueno, mañana vamos a hacer unas... Ya me acordé de unas cositas así como bien divertidas que se pronuncian en inglés, pero se oyen como que fueran español. Para que vean qué chistoso se ve al revés. Y ustedes se den cuenta cómo están las cosas. Así que, thank you for coming, kids, and have a great night, and see you tomorrow, ¿ok? See you tomorrow. Bye, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye.